Hey, how's it going, everybody? Now, if you're not from America, there are some things that Americans do that the Europeans would find, well, quite frankly, strange. And um, I've been to the States three times myself, and every time I was there, I was pleasantly surprised, I have to say. But there were also a few things that I thought, hmm, that's kind of strange. Kind of strange, or at least I'm not used to it. Well, this video is going to be American things Europeans find weird. Um, I'm excited. So let's get right into it. If you've ever seen Quentin Tarantino's hit movie Pulp Fiction, you'll know it opens with a scene in which Samuel Jackson shows his surprise regarding the legality of cannabis smoking in Holland and the fact that the French eat their fries with mayonnaise. Ugh yeah. is his reaction to the use of such a condiment. Well, we can tell you ugh works both ways, and there are plenty of things Americans eat do believe and say that Europeans find plain weird. Today, we'll look oh at some God. of those things I love in this, this episode channel. of the Infographic Show, American Things Europeans Find Weird. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so that you can be part of our notification. I love spot. this channel. We'll stay with food and restaurants for the time being. As we've discussed in other shows, not everyone in the world is so draconian about tipping. In fact, in some parts of Europe, throwing a buck on the counter after receiving a cold beer would be totally insulting. In many European countries, tipping in some situations can be seen as charity. When visit yeah, it's it's some, but it's also seen as a, it's definitely seen as an insult uh, somewhere or if you just give give money to someone randomly um, I think especially like in places like Greece for example that's the case um, but uh, obviously you know I no matter where I would live uh, I would want to if I was a waitress if I were a waiter and uh, you know somewhere in the service industry then um, I definitely definitely would want to get tips you know I mean just it just helps you know I wouldn't I wouldn't even see it as an insult I would you know appreciate it quite frankly Visiting the US, many Europeans might find it weird that a waiter or waitress keeps coming back to your table. In the States, it may be seen as just good service, but yeah. to some Europeans, it could be construed as someone getting in the way of a good meal. That meal, by the way, could be about three times larger than many people in Europe are used to. In general, American food portions look to some Europeans like they are supposed to feed two people. Yeah. It may also seem like an That's act good. of largesse to some Europeans when someone keeps refilling their glass of soda or cup of coffee for no extra cost. In terms of the food itself, as we noted earlier, American Americans and Europeans have very different ideas about what goes with what. Pancakes for breakfast with fried chicken are- Real quick, in between. The whole refilling, the last time I saw that happening was in uh, at a McDonald's because at McDonald's, I remember when I was a kid, um, they used to have these refilling machines and you could just refill 24 seven, but at some point it just meh, it just completely stopped and you didn't have it anymore. And you can't get re um, free refills uh, um, at the restaurant, not even water, not even water. Are you kidding me, says the traveling European? And what about putting honey on bacon for breakfast? The Frenchman <laughs> wanted mustard with his sliced beef and tasted something not oh, like geez. mustard, but a sweeter version with less bite. The Italian went to Chicago and in one restaurant ordered a pizza, only to be served what he felt looked more like a quiche or a cake. So, what about when Europeans head to the store? Again, the rather affable smile and general friendliness of staff may seem strange to someone from grumpy no. England, where service with a smile is certainly no guarantee. In fact, it's been remarked that American friendliness can result in some Europeans thinking something suspicious is afoot. If that European is in the store to buy a pack of cigarettes or a bottle of wine, they may be extremely surprised when they get asked for ID, as that might not have happened to them for over a decade or two. On top of Europe mainly having laxer laws on age restrictions, IDing people is not such a big deal as it is in America. Well, but you still have to, still, still have, you still have, technically on paper, you still have to do it, right? I mean, um, businesses can still get into trouble and I mean they're taking a risk you know if they don't do it you certainly I mean in Germany you certainly have to ask for ID you know and even if the guy is looking like he's about to die you know and he's 105 years old uh, but you have to ask that's for sure yeah um, and the whole the friendliness thing honestly it just, be, it just I think it just comes down to people being being used to just you know bitterness all day so when they actually see someone who is nice you know they don't know how to how to work with that only in July this year, Oasis frontman Liam Gallagher said he was ID'd in the US after trying to buy cigarettes. He tweeted, I've just been told I can't buy cigs unless I got ID. I'm 40 freaking four. Has the world gone mad? Indeed, in his home city of Manchester, he'd probably been buying his smokes for 30 years without a problem. And then the European looks inside his or her wallet, only to see a bunch of notes that all look the same, all the time wondering how this could possibly make any sense. The good thing is, in America, you can pay with plastic just about anywhere, which is something many Europeans 
Americans are still not used to. They may also be unpleasantly surprised to find out when they do buy something, taxes get added on top of the price they saw. So they try and get back to their hotel, but have to ask the way. They are told to walk six blocks this way and turn left. <laughs> Only for some Europeans not familiar with the US, giving someone directions using blocks may seem weird. Parts of Europe were not built with city blocks in mind and just gradually spread in a way that makes it hard to find your way around. Yeah. When they finally do get back, they settle down to watch some TV, only for some reason the shows are interspersed with commercials that seem to be longer than the actual minutes given to the actual content. This drives some Europeans crazy. At some point, they might come across World Wrestling Entertainment and be quite confused at how some Americans can get so worked up about what to them looks like an act with an ending already scripted. Uh, you may have to be an American to enjoy that kind of drama with such well. passion. Turn over to the news and depending on the channel, this may also look something like a drama or a soap opera to a European. They may easily Why? believe they are watching Watching a news satire. One of the great things in America, though, for some Europeans at least, is the fact that some things are open 24 7. No, Can't yeah. sleep? Just go out. Shopping hours are relevant. I'm so. Oh my god. I, I, I miss. I miss. You know, not. Um, I miss the, the option of going, you know. I, I always make this example, you know, it's 3 a.m. in the morning, just like he's about to say, you know, you wake up, you can't go back to sleep, and you're just, you're just like, you know, buddy, this is not happening. So, you know, let's get some burgers, you know, let's get some fries, let's get some ice cream, oh, just like he says right here. You know, people in the States have to really appreciate that, you know, I mean, 24, 20, I mean, things are at least, at least open 20, uh, seven, hour, 7 days a week, and then if they even 24 7 a week, you know, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, Oh my god, it's such a luxury, you know, you, you, I don't think you have that in any European country, certainly not here in Germany, yeah, but it's so, so fucking cool, yeah, and since I'm a night owl myself, I mean, I can, I can appreciate that much more, much more relatively quite restrictive in many European nations, but in most places in the US or near a big city, there is always something to do or buy in the middle of the night. In Europe, the BBC reported that London, England, and six cities in Spain were the better 24-hour cities. Now we'll visit the sensitive issues of religion and patriotism. World Atlas puts America at the top of the list as the most Christian nation in the world. In the US, on any given day, you might hear the word God or at least see signs pointing to where you might find him. While parts of Europe are also predominantly Christian, the omnipresence of God in the street may seem a little overbearing to many of these nations that have forgotten church duty. It's the same with flags everywhere. You won't go far in America without seeing the stars and stripes, whereas in Europe, flags are usually designated to the top of poles outside of official buildings. Seeing one planted in a garden may induce a traveling European to believe that he is at the house of a hardcore nationalist, not just someone who is proud of where he comes from. Interesting side note, a 2014 survey revealed the most- No, I, I love, I love seeing the flags. That was one of the best things. One of the best things I was in the state when I was in the States was seeing those flags. I mean, it was Super cool, super cool. I love it. Patriotic country in the world was Thailand, closely followed by the USA. While Thailand. it may not seem too weird for Europeans, the fact that some people in the States carry firearms might be scary. Per capita, more people in the States own guns than any other country. While most cops in Europe do carry guns, it's unusual to see a cop in England, Scotland, or Wales carrying a gun. The fact that regular Joes might be carrying a firearm seems fairly weird to many Europeans. It might not seem so strange to Serbians, who also have a high rate of guns owned per person. Size also matters to Europeans when traveling. <laughs> states, in America, everything just seems bigger, and not just the aforementioned dishes. The roads and streets seem larger for the most part, and if you don't have a car, it can seem hard to get anywhere, especially in a place like LA. The cars themselves seem a lot bigger, large enough to crush Mr. Bean in his mini, <laughs> and the people inside them also seem big on average, if not taller, than wider on average. The skyscrapers are taller, and in general, American houses statistically have a lot more space than the average European the house. Bigger, the better. One survey stated that the Danish had the most living space in Europe, still much less than Americans, but much more than the Brits, that to Americans might seem their whole house is smaller than their basement. It may not be that weird, but one might ask why everything is so big in the US. As for appearance, some, the bigger the better. some Europeans may find the amount of Americans that are continually decked in what looks like gym wear a bit strange, as most are not going to the gym. Other styles that are mostly an 80s thing but seem to have stayed around a little are the big hairstyles on some older American women. Big lips and big breasts may also be a fashion weird mm. to some Europeans, while in the USA the president still seems to sport a fake tan. On the positive nah. side, Americans all seem to have such perfect white teeth, quite different from those Brits. This was hilariously depicted in an episode of The Simpsons in which the big book of British smiles horrifically demonstrated the apparent lack of dental hygiene in the country. So, what do you Europeans out there find strange about Americans? And Americans, what do you think is weird about Europeans? Let us know in the comments. See I mean, it's, so, it's so cool, it's so cool. I like this video, I like this video. 
there's definitely a huge differences you know a uh, huge differences you can appreciate you can appreciate those uh, my favorite was for sure the the 24 7 you know that, that most uh, lo not most you know that would be over the top but a lot of things are open 24 7 it's just it's just so fun yeah i mean uh, i had a group at last every time i was there uh yeah if anyone anyone who is from the u.s and has been to you know maybe not just one country in europe but maybe you know to two three or maybe in other countries in the world um did you notice that right away i mean for sure you must have noticed the whole you know 24 7 thing that that's not the case and uh, yeah i mean did you did you come home thinking oh it was better over there or you know it's oh it's way better here well i am i'd be curious other than that uh, yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you have any recommendations let me know in the comments i'll be uh, happy to react to them thank you very much